Entertaining is easy if you just put together a quick charcuterie board. Kowalski's culinary director, Rachel Parrott, is here with simple and delicious options for us. I already have a delicious option. I love this one. This is going it's, on the uh, cover of the next Kowalski's magazine. Every, let me tell you, it's going to be all the rage. Everyone's yeah. going to be going for this. I love it. For now, I'm going to set it aside. Okay. Just, just for now. <laughs> if, if we Just must. for now. If you want to try some of that, you no, can. Okay. No, free. they're not into it. Uh, I'm going to eat all this stuff. Hi Sounds there. Good. Hey. So this is, a, it's a great, easy yes. fix. So, you know, to do your easy party Easy is what I'm all about at yes. holiday time. As am I. I get done by now with shopping and wrapping, and then I'm like, it's all yeah. fun, you know? But I still want to have a good party. I want to have some good flavors. Sure. I want to have a good time. Um, sliced deli meats are where we're at today. And yeah. they're better than just for sandwiches. Like and they I have like a lot more application. You also say you can, or if you don't know how much, oh. right? You can order, just order the number of slices. I'm so glad you mentioned that. It's like my life hack. I taught my <laughs> brother-in-law. It's like, if you don't know how much a quarter pound of turkey is gonna get you, yeah. but you know you want 10 slices, Order ten slices. Like go. the deli staff love it. It's amazing. They know so that. yes. It's so great. are there like any hard and fast rules of what you should put on your charcuterie board? Um, well, you want to just whatever you're going to do this season, especially for these recipes, go with something really high quality. Mm -hmm. Just because if you're going to have just that item yeah. or just a couple items together, the flavors are really going to come through. So yeah. you want to do something really good. So when it comes to deli meats, I mean we have a, a lot of good options for you. Boar's heads, an awesome option. Of course, so is um, distill, which is yeah. not available widely, but it has um, really great animal husbandry, great story, great clean products. So That's the good we're going to show yeah. you a couple cool ways to mix these right. things up to make some good flavors. Good Wonderful. little party nibbles and party bites. Cool. Roast beef's a popular option at yes. holiday time. People yes. like to have a little oh, something that. And I beefy. love that it's the nice rare stuff. That's my yes. favorite kind. This is the Boar's Head traditional mm -hmm. classic roast beef. and. And it's a great way to, um, again, add a meaty bite to your to your holiday party. You can buy little crostini in yep. the deli. You can also buy them in the bakery department or mm -hmm. just toast some bread. Um, you just you just literally pile the, the beef on top of your little crostini. And then you want to choose a horseradish sauce. This is, ah, this is a classic English style horseradish, so it's not too spicy, nice and creamy with just a little bit of sweet to it. Yum. This is the Kowalski's one. Look for the one with the little orange red label. I love that. And then dress them up for the party. This is what gives them their, their party. Just a little garnish. A little garnish, little chives on it. Makes it beautiful. Cool. Ham and cheese sliders are actually a popular. People, yeah. people have a lot of recipes for these, but this one is really fun and really delicious. Um, it uses Bourbon Ridge ham from Boar's Head. Ooh, Bourbon. That sounds I, you know, good. Sounds good, Doesn't right? That sound great? Yeah, the whole recipe is phenomenal. I'm going to make some biscuits today okay. only because it's so easy. I've got a bagged biscuit mix. This and is the just, same one we make them in the store with. You just got it ready with. to go. You're always ready to go. And you literally just mix this up with a little bit of butter and a little bit of milk and you're good to go. And you don't even have to roll them out. I'm using a cookie just scoop using here a, just plop it on to there, put right? it onto the cookie tray. You don't have to roll them out. You can just do them just like this, nice and rustic. This cookie scoop is a two ounce scoop and it makes for a really good size. What is it? Biscuit. It's just cheddar. There's cheddar, isn't it? I added a little cheddar okay. cheese to the mix. Yes, okay. thanks for pointing that out. Just to give it a little extra saltiness. Yeah. But here we're going to put a little bit of that delicious bourbon flavored ham. If you want, yeah. you can take a taste of that ham. Well, I will. Get that okay. little bourbon flavor. It, it, well, going. anything to get the uh, pasta and noodles the with spaghetti syrup, and flavor syrup out of, my out of mouth your mouth. Um, mm. And then a little bit of smoky gouda. This is going to have a little smoke flavor. Yeah, we've got salty, we've got she smoky. She said, told me to try some. Yeah, come on over. No, okay. What am I doing? And I want to add a little bit of sweetness, so I'm adding a little bit of fig jam. Again, we have about 30 seconds left, Rachel, really quickly. Fig jam. Quick so oh, fig the jam. last item, yeah. just prosciutto. You just literally take it out of the pack, out of the, um, the bag when you've had a slice. Don't tell her what And to put do. it onto a tray, 375 for 10 minutes. It comes, mm. it's like potato it. chips, but it's bacon. I know, mm. look at how pretty that is when you serve it then with a little bit of uh, deviled eggs. Yeah, and you, you can put it on Which anything, but you perfect. have to have it with prosecco. Prosecco oh. and prosciutto crisps are the perfect combination those for the holidays. Those, mm. Yes, that'll be great. I, I would love to have prosecco at Shoreview today, at okay. your Shoreview store. Okay, we could probably make that happen. <laughs> I'll be there from 11 to yes. 1, actually signing my books and uh, hopefully having some prosecco. So that's going to be a lot of fun today. Thank you for inviting me. And these are great ideas. I that's love good. the fact that you don't have to roll this out. Just yes, take so the smart. cheat. Take the cheat. Yeah. So smart. All right, all the bites Rachel showed us today are on care11.com. Just <laughs> click on the Saturday show page. We of will course. be right back. Lee's here reaching for the Prosecco. Right on. Absolutely.